Unlike the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, set in a mountainside on a remote island in the Arctic Circle, Canada's National Tree Seed Centre is housed in a nondescript office building in Fredericton, New Brunswick. But make no mistake, the unique collection here would rival any stockpile of seeds in worth. Our collection as it stands is probably worth close to $30 million, and that's just the value of the seed from collecting the seed. While the vault in Norway houses mostly agricultural seed, this centre was established back in 1967 to collect and maintain seed from the 700 Canadian tree and shrub species so they could be made available for research worldwide. Its mandate now includes the conservation of genetic resources under threat from invasive pests, pathogens, and climate change. Our ashes and our maples and our birch only produce seed every three, five, seven, nine years. So if you want to have a continuously growing that, those trees, then you have to be able to collect the seed in good bumper crop years and then store it until the time when you need it. The center just launched an indigenous seed collection program to protect and preserve species that are important to indigenous peoples. The initiative is supported by Canada's plan to plant 2 billion trees in a 10-year period. In 2021, the fall, we made over 500 individual collections from 66 different species in Canada. When the seeds are first deposited here at the seed bank, they come into this room where they sit at 25% humidity to help dry them all out. The temperature in the seed drying room is set at 20 degrees Celsius. After initial cleaning, seeds are tested until moisture content is down to around 7% to help prevent them from germinating until needed. Some of our seed actually, you know, it's eaten by birds or by animals and it's the digestive enzymes in their gut that actually remove some of that seed coat, allowing the seed to germinate. So we have different processes here, and including things like using rock tumblers to sort of wear away at that outer seed coat, allowing us to germinate the seed. The center wants the best of the best, and they even use an x-ray machine to take a deep dive into the seed's quality before determining to keep it. It's then on to germination tests the year they're collected. The germinators are controlled for temperature, humidity, and light. With some research looking at the ability of seeds to germinate under future climatic scenarios, CO2 levels are able to be adjusted and elevated. Most of the Canada tree seed is stored at minus 20 in these large walk-in freezers. One of the highest priorities currently is black ash. The emerald ash borer, it's moving quite rapidly, and a lot of our ashes Black ash only produces seed every nine years, white ash every five years. By the time it's in seed again, there's nothing left because emerald ash borer has wiped out those populations. And we're really so seeing that in like the southern part of Ontario, southern part of Quebec. If there's a species you're concerned with and looking to protect, all you have to do is reach out to the center through their website that can be found by searching National Tree Seed Center.